welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and for those of you who are new, I'm experimenting with uh, traditional Chinese medicine and I've been on uh, herbal remedies for actually 11 weeks and maybe it's 12 weeks actually and I actually said in my previous video that I was going to my ninth uh, visit to the doctors but it was actually the 11th so I guess time flies um, anyway I was at the doctors yesterday and uh, I I was thinking about like before I went there I was thinking about maybe taking a break with the herbs because generally after 10 weeks you're supposed to be kind of um, balanced but I still had some issues so I went to another I went to the 10th and then I had uh, my 11th visit and then um, basically the question came up like do you want to take a break or not and I was thinking and I was actually planning on taking a break but after we had had a new consultation and just talked about how my state is right now we both decided that it was pretty smart to have one more week and then take another evaluation after that so I came home with new herbs and these herbs are pretty special um, because there are some few things that I still need to work on and like um, according to the doctor pretty much everything was um, good my energy levels are good my blood levels are up and my pulse is really good it's strong it's not weak and it's just basically according to their measurements it's it's a really good pulse uh, my tongue was like sort of good and the only thing that I pretty much have left for a harmonious a harmonious state in my body is to get the heat up and the tricky thing with this is that I am going to have my PMS week uh, starting like now and when you give the body uh, heated herbs like herbs that make you warm that heats up the body um, that lightens the fire within the body you also kind of heat your PMS uh, symptoms so I had to decide do I want to do this or not because it can be pretty tricky and it can be pretty well it can be a struggle because I usually have heavy PMS and my mood is uh, affected and well everything so um, I had to decide do I want to experiment with this but I did decide that I did I do because for me it's important to to finish this and I feel so stable right now that I can deal with having some extra heat and some extra emotions so I am actually going to have the very first sip of this uh, this new herbal uh, remedy right now and I've been warned that it can be pretty um, awful so let's see Well, that's not the worst I've had. <laughs> the week before was way worse. That was actually okay. So a little bit about the story of being cold. I I have been seriously dealing with uh, this cold issue for many many years and it actually got worse. Like, I've always been a cold person like I'm the type of person who has to wear socks inside otherwise my feet will get blue when I'm outside my, my fingers get blue and no I'm not a smoker so that's not the issue uh, and then when I developed my eating disorder a couple years ago like seven years ago of course the hypothermia got even worse mm, and I remember that when I went to my like checkups uh, my temp body temperature was so low that they actually uh, 
almost sent me to the hospital once um, but I actually managed not to go but like it was really bad and now I'm still cold obviously I'm cold always I always wear like hoodies and really warm sweaters and now I'm wearing this because I don't want to look like you know like I'm covered in blankets but usually I'm pretty cold and I always get to wear a lot of like more clothes than normal people and I am actually looking forward to becoming warmer and even though it might be stressful for the body I think it's really good for me so what, what can happen when you give the body these warming herbs is that or what actually happens not what can happen what actually happens is that the body gets triggered into mm, kind of working harder to keep the body warm and that's why you can say that you aggravate the organs a little bit you make them stressed and that's what can also trigger uh, any PMS symptoms but I think I'm, I'm ready for this and I'm going it's going to be interesting to document this process and apparently I can also get a little sweaty and I hate being sweaty so it's gonna be a really interesting week definitely today is also the new moon and it's Scorpio season and we just had Halloween and uh, Samhain and this upcoming weekend we're celebrating All Hallows Eve and always during this season um, we talk about the veil being as thin as possible so it's easier for us in this realm to communicate uh, with the other side and I love this period because I feel more connected to my ancestors and in, partic in particular my grandmother passed away a couple years ago mm, it's not like I communicate with her or anything but I feel a presence with me and I feel extra safe and extra loved during this time and last year I actually did uh, a shamanic ritual as well a healing session for myself during this period which was um, extremely powerful and this new moon in and during Scorpio season is just all about death and rebirth and that's why everything that we manifest right now everything that we um, just wish for and make goals for is going to be way intensified but in order for us to reach those goals we have to like die we have to release all of the things that we don't need any longer all the things that don't serve us and then we have to be reborn into this new magnificent person um, that is in complete and total alignment with themselves and I'm just going to sit down now and have like this really magical new moon ritual um, there are a couple things that I have left on my spiritual evolvement list for this year and I really need to take it up a couple of notches to really get those intentions out there and then I'm going to do a powerful little like ritual in connection to that which is well basically I'm going to plant, I'm going to plant new seeds and for me that's going to be a bit more visual like this is what I call into my life and now I'm planting this seed and then I'm just going to watch it grow so I'm going to take you with me on my little ritual but first I'm going to finish this tea So these three seedlings are originally from this bigger plant and now I'm going to put them in soil uh, these have been sitting in this glass with water for a couple uh, days and they've developed like this really amazing root system so I'm just gonna place them in the soil and just uh, make sure that they are comfortable
there it is. I also gave it some water. So now hopefully it will grow uh, just as big as that one. But there she is in a little golden pot. And what I also do when I plant something new, I also add two crystals. I don't know why, but these have been calling out to me saying that they are grounding and really good for like growth and new life. So I always place them in the soil like so. And hopefully they will give new vibrant energies for this plant. This is what the herbs look like this week. And as you can see, they're pretty woody and dry. Uh, we got those dark little things and well, lots of things that look like they come from a tree. And like I said, this recipe tastes awful. And these herbs are supposed to make me feel warmer. And it's a pretty strong recipe. And I will be adding fresh ginger to this as well. And I guess that also kind of heightens the the taste. So yeah, this is what they look like this week. So this is the situation right now. I am packing uh, to go to see my mom. And I always bring these when I travel because this is my morning ritual and this black book is my evening ritual. Uh, so that's why uh, those things are there. And this is my book that I'm currently reading, The Pleiadian Agenda. It's really interesting. Here is some makeup and some spa products. And these are skincare. Here, I put some like tights, workout clothes, um, sports bras, because we're gonna be doing some workouts. And I haven't really put all my clothes out yet, but here is like some loungewear for uh, when we are home. So I'm almost all packed, and here it's just some random stuff that I threw in there. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready to go. from mom's now and like last time I had plans to do so much filming but we just ended up um, hanging out together and I didn't want to bring my camera everywhere so uh, I didn't film that much but I had a really nice weekend and uh, it was really nice to see my mom and I also spent some time with my husband and his uh, and my parents-in-law and I also had some time for myself and I went for a walk and did some workouts and I took a bath and it was so wonderful. And 
I also played my first game of paddle tennis uh, with my husband. It was really fun, but my arms are so sore right now. Um, I think I used muscle that I haven't activated in a while, so yeah. Anyway, uh, we're back home and speaking of cold and warm uh, this week, as I mentioned earlier, I have herbs that is going to heat my body and make me feel warm. Um, and the funny thing is that our apartment is freezing right now. It's like 17 or 18 degrees Celsius, uh, which is insane for an apartment. Um, I think apartments are supposed to be like 20 or 21 degrees. And when I was at my mom's, I was feeling so good. I was so relaxed because she had a normal temperature and now when we have come home and it's so freezing cold here, I'm just back in my freezing loop again. And I'm just wearing all my warmest clothes and it's not enough. So I think that maybe herbs aren't able to uh, deal with this issue. Maybe I need something stronger. Uh, we'll see. But overall, this week has been fine. Um, I have had PMS and Saturday was in particularly bad, but I wouldn't say that it was as bad as it was before I was on the herbs. So I definitely feel a huge uh, change there. And other than that, I've had a really, really good week on these disgusting I'm sorry, uh, herbs. I feel grateful that they are helping me to heal, but I don't think that this whole warming uh, process has been working at all because I'm freezing and maybe of course it has something to do with the temperature in my apartment because at mom's I was actually feeling really good. But with that said, I also get a little bit of a temperature raise during my PMS. So I can't really say that I felt a difference at all, actually. Something interesting, though, that I uh, noticed was that uh, they said that with these stronger recipes, um, it's possible that you dream a lot and dream like weird things. And I definitely have been dreaming weird things lately. So <laughs> that's... Um, I think that's that's an okay side effect um but some of some of the dreams have been nightmares so that's not very pleasant but what can you do right so i'm going to wrap this uh, vlog up now and i am going to get back to you next week and we'll see if i'm on a break or not i have no idea right now how this is going to play out but I feel optimistic that maybe a break is on the horizon. So thank you so much for watching and please like, share and subscribe. And I am so happy that you're here and watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one.